Well, you've heard the saying about cats and nine lives, and every once in a while, the same may be true for dogs, at least the one in this next story. An amazing rescue of a dog buried alive in an avalanche, and it was all caught on a skier's helmet camera. This is some dra dramatic, excuse me, moments happening an hour west of Denver in the Rocky Mountains when two college students set out in the backcountry to look for anyone who was caught in the crush of this snow. News Nation correspondent Michael Schur is live with more on exactly what happened. Michael, what a story. Marnie, good evening. It is indeed, right? We're used to seeing these dogs looking for humans after an avalanche, and this time there was a little role reversal in Colorado as a dog really got taken away, uh, and, and it turns out was the cause of this avalanche, but uh, some lucky uh, dog in the snow story out of Colorado has these two college students as heroes tonight. A powerful avalanche in Colorado's backcountry turned skiers into rescuers when word went out that a dog was buried in the snowmass of Berthu Pass. Two Colorado School of Mines students who were skiing the off-trail terrain wanted to help find the dog in an area 300 yards by 50 yards, but at first thought better of that plan. I think we need to get out of here. This is a lost cause. That dog's dead. It's been 15 minutes. Yeah. Moments right. after thinking it was hopeless, one of them sees a nose sticking out of the snow. Oh, I found him! I found him! I found him! I found him! You found him? A GoPro camera inadvertently capturing the entire moment. Hey, buddy. Come on. He's alive. <laughs> With that began the frantic digging in still dangerous conditions for Apollo, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever hey, who had been with his owner but then ran away from their group, triggering the avalanche and being pulled over a slope by the sea of snow. You okay, man? Until finally Apollo was freed. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay. After being buried for nearly 20 minutes, Apollo walked away. The weight of the snowy world lifted from his shoulders. This your guy. Scott Shepard is the owner of Apollo. He said it was a huge lesson, Marnie, uh, without huge consequences. He said he also would like to go out skiing again with Apollo, but he'd have to check with his wife first. And I kind of have a feeling that I know what Scott's wife's going to say. I know. And maybe check with Apollo, but dogs, they'll do anything twice. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's true. a miracle. All right, yeah. Michael, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.